How's it going guys? This is Brad and John with Best Price Nutrition. You can check out our website, bestpricenutrition.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and on our website, sign up for all the email newsletters so you can see we have all of our deals, giveaways, sales, all that good stuff. And I think we're on TikTok and Twitter and all that stuff too. So today, what are we gonna go over, John? So today we're gonna to be talking about the top three protein powders for weight loss. Uh, this seems to be a topic that a lot of people are, are searching for. We get a lot of searches on our website for this. Um, and there are some protein powders out there that kind of advertise themselves or market themselves as being for weight loss, normally adding some MCT oils or something like that. You're really not gonna find a protein powder that's gonna necessarily have fat burning ingredients. Yeah. So what we're gonna be focusing on in this video is just kind of uh, protein powders that are good on the macros, low in calories, low in carbs. Yeah. Uh, these are mostly gonna be what, isolates, uh, egg, white. egg white proteins, things like that. Um, we got a tub of Hexapro right here, which is the six protein blend to kind of compare things to. Yeah, and with with uh, a lot of people, when they're trying to lose weight, they'll be told that they need like a meal replacement shake or something like that. You really don't want to fully replace one of your meals with a shake because one, it's liquid, it's going to digest super quick and you're just gonna be hungry again soon and then you're gonna end up eating more. Um, meal replacement shakes have their purpose, but it's really not for dieting, in my opinion. Um, so what this is, is going to be, it's not, you're not going to take these and totally fill up for a long time. This is how you get in your daily protein needs, which is going to boost up your protein. It's going to help you build muscle. Um, and that's what you want when you're trying to lose weight. So these are going to be kind of straight shots of protein, like John was saying. And to start, I don't think any of these are really the best. I think these are all just good, different options. Um, the first one we have is metabolic nutrition iso powder. And this one is really cool because Every gram of protein is four calories. This is 26 grams of protein. It's 104 calories. This is purely just a shot of protein with flavoring in it. So 104 calories for 26 grams of protein is really, really good. Um, and usually you want like, rule of thumb is like a gram of protein per pound of body weight that you weigh. I'm like 275, 280. That would be crazy for me to try to eat that much protein every day. So that's why if you do a few scoops of this, it really helps knock it down. Um, yeah, 20 gram, 26 grams of protein, no carbs, no fat. This is an awesome option. This may be the best option, honestly. And, and you know what, like, like you said, uh, most of the proteins, even isolates, have 120, 130 grams yeah. of calories. So this is a, as lean as you're going to get without going to, uh, to a clear protein. Um, and also, I think Metabolic has some of the best tasting proteins yeah. on the market. Their must lean is fantastic. Protozyme is fantastic. Um, and even though this is only 104 calories, uh, they sent us a couple tubs to try when this first came out. I'm not going to say it's a milkshake consistency, yeah. but I mean, this is one of the thicker, tastier isolates that I've tried. So I mean, yeah. taste and calorie count and macros, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Yeah, for sure. And, and with the isolates, a lot of times, now they're a lot better, but even like a few years ago, the isolate proteins that were out, they were just really watery, right? Because like there's really no milk content in it because it's all stripped out, it's just pure protein. They weren't the greatest. They're getting better, but you have to manage your expectations when you're going into this. It's not going to actually be a milkshake, like John said. It's going to be protein powder mixed up with water, whatever you mix it up with. So manage your expectations, but if you've had a bunch of protein powder before, you know this is gonna be a good one. What do we got next? Okay, so next we'll do 5% uh, egg white crystals. Uh, you know, egg white protein, very lean, uh, very good ratio of, of calories to protein. And this, this was actually out a number of years ago. Uh, I know Jeff in the office, this was one of his favorite protein mm -hmm. powders. So when we heard it was coming back, he was really excited. Um, we'll see if they roll out more flavors. They actually wound up putting it out in an unflavored version. Uh, so not quite the same thing that yeah. it used to be, but uh, you know, it is still very lean. We got 90 calories and 20 grams of protein. Yeah, and then with the unflavored, <clears throat> one benefit of that is, is you don't want any artificial flavors or dyes or sweeteners. Unflavored is probably as healthy as it's going to get. And this is also going to be really good if you have like gut issues or you're lactose intolerant. An isolate is really low in milk property. Even if you're super lactose intolerant, you'll probably be fine taking something like this. But if you're severely, severely lactose intolerant or you don't even want any dairy at all, doing egg white, it's not dairy. For some reason, I think a lot of people think that eggs are part of dairy. It's not. They're in the freezer section at the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. Dairy is purely milk product from cow, right? So egg whites, you could probably eat if you're vegetarian, right? Vegetarians can do eggs? Some of them do. Okay. So cool, if you're a cool vegetarian, <laughs> you could do egg whites. 90 calories, 20 grams of protein, like John said, one carb, 
no fat, super, super lean, easily, easily digested. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't really digest egg whites well, probably a very rare, small community. Um, yeah, so this is a good option. And also keep in mind, unflavored, it's not gonna taste great, but if you want something that's going to digest easy, no artificial anything, this is a really good option. And you know, it didn't make our list here, but uh, one that I think is, is worth a mention, we do have in the Gaspari Nutrition egg white protein. Yeah. And it actually does come in, I think, three caramel, different flavors. Ch yeah, chocolate something. The salted caramel, yeah. maybe a chocolate peanut butter. It's uh, called Proven Egg. Proven Egg, that's yeah, what it is. Yeah. And it I'm, is really, really good. I'm guessing it's got a few more calories, but uh, you know, mm -hmm. if, if taste is important to you, that might be uh, yeah. a better option than this yeah. one. And then one thing, I don't know if it's, I think I've only had Proven Egg as an egg protein. It did get a little slimy. Did, did you it? try it? No, you know, I, I, I was almost going to buy a tub. I've been wanting to try it. Yeah, I want to say it got a little bit slimy. Maybe I didn't shake it up enough, but just keep that in mind. If you're a big texture person, maybe just shake it up for a very long time or use more water. Just a little warning about that. And then okay. finally. And then last time, surprised there's not more clear proteins on the market. I know years ago I used to buy some pre-bottled ones. Yeah. And uh, sometimes in the summertime, you know, not really looking for something milky or yeah, creamy. Yeah, for sure. Um, so it's, you know, much more refreshing, a little bit lighter. Um, you know, I imagine if you struggle with uh, lactose, something like this is going to be a little bit better. This is NutriBio Clear. It comes in uh, watermelon. What is mango. it? Mango. Um, What's the other one? Watermelon, mango, and there's the third flavor as well. I think it's another kind pineapple. of pineapple. That's yeah, what yeah. it is. Uh, this one is about as lean as it gets. We got 80 calories and uh, 20 grams of protein. So yeah. this is a solid one. I've tried this one. I think we got tubs of each flavor. Yeah. I liked all of them. And uh, you know, not as popular as most of the other protein powders, but we do have a number of customers here at the brick and mortar location mm -hmm. who come and buy this one religiously. Anytime we have an event at one of our local locations, our representative from NutriBio, Dave Garland, he comes out and we always ask him to sample these out because once people try these, every single time we have like a big boost in sales from these because this is something that you're like, wow, this is protein. It just tastes like juice, basically. Yeah. It is really, really good. The flavors are awesome. In there, that's going to be similar to this one in the calories where every calorie is accounted for 20 grams of protein times four, 80 calories. There it is. It's super lean. Um, and then an additional thing with NutriBio, kind of like this, where if you're very concerned about what's in there, what NutriBio does that no other brand that I know of does, they tell you exactly how much, you know, salt, sucralose, ASK, citric acid, they tell you by the milligramage how much they're putting in everything. You know, 60 milligrams of beetroot powder, 100 milligrams of salts, 80 milligrams of sucralose. So if you want to know to the milligram what you're getting, really, really good, clean option. So as you can see, these all are very low calorie. Almost every calorie is accounted for in all of these. Good amount of protein. Um, and then just in comparison, why you want something lean like an egg white or an isolate or a clear isolate or something like that. Hexapro, which is a really good protein. There's nothing wrong with it for the right person. Um, this is 25 grams of protein and it is 170 calories. So basically 25 grams of protein accounts for 100 calories. You've got 70 calories that aren't protein. That's kind of a lot of calories for one scoop of protein. Um, you, if you're trying to cut down, you know, you're doing two, three scoops of these a day, that's going to add up. If you do two scoops, that's 140 extra calories per day that you didn't get to eat through food. Which and you can sucks. literally have two of these shakes yeah. and still be at the same calorie count as uh, one yeah, scoop of hexapro. Exactly. Pro. Less than. Yeah. Um, so this is mainly for someone who's probably not cutting, maybe recomp, just wants some extra protein or a really creamy one that tastes good or trying to put on weight. Um, so that's just something to look out for and why these are more ideal. Out of these three, which, which one's your favorite? Um, probably these two for the flavor, because this, like you said, if it's hot out and you don't want to drink something creamy, this, if you do want something creamy and low calorie, those are probably def definitely my favorite options. I would say the same thing. I like these for summertime and then just kind of overall, this would probably be my, yeah. my pick. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then I do think that we run deals on all of each of these brands pretty regularly. So definitely be sure to sign up for the email newsletter, like we said earlier, because we do run deals on these probably once every six weeks, one of these are going to be on a pretty good discount. Yeah, so this video probably won't be up in time, but uh, this one's on a huge sale this weekend. Yeah. We regularly run metabolic deals, 5%, a little bit less often, but yeah, you can yeah. find deals on all three of these. Yeah. So that's about it. If you guys have any options that you think should have been on this list but weren't, leave it in the comments section below. Um, and Judy, stop commenting us and calling us, please. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think that's about it. Thanks, guys. Later, guys.